took me a long time to get into space where I'm not talking to my kids as rough and tough and hard and harsh as, you know, what we got. Because I don't think y'all really got the experience. Y'all, well, I know y'all didn't really get to experience her when she was able to talk and the way she talked. I just talked. remember when she's like, go sit your two cent ass down go for sit I, your five feet. Go sit your 50 cent ass yeah. down for, for I may change you. I don't remember but her talking But I don't remember as... her saying, like, calling me a bitch. Yeah. No, 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 no. It was, it was never. Now, that I can say. It was never that. But it was like a tone that she would take. I know that she talked It was she like she would talk rough. more at you instead of to you. Like you know, I remember that, but I don't remember like you know all that. Yeah, extra all that. Like, no, she, right, she, man, go sit she, your stupid ass down. And oh yeah, she, like she, that. um, go sit your dumb ass down. Nah, that stupid was never. She'll say you acting stupid or you acting like you know you acting like a this, you acting like a in gap too. You acting like well, you know, gap, whatever. But they you know, know, well y'all know gap, but him too. One of the first he couple episodes. That's why our daddy. Get he was down. he was difficult as fuck to deal with growing up. Like bitch, he he it, I don't know what he went through as a kid. What kind of trauma or what kind of upbringing that he had that inflicting he inflicted on his kids and his stepkids. Because truth be told, Brandon them hated him, hated the fuck out of him. It is like Shit, he hate from what I understood about it. He hated they fucking dad. Yeah, he, if you had if you had a mama. Who had got a new baby daddy, but then she still fucking with her old baby daddy? Would you like the baby daddy or the fucking kids from the baby daddy? Hell no. Nah. But then he had. I mean, they both was young. I guess that's the excuse that they gonna use. But it's like you knew what you was dealing with. You knew what you. But you knew what type of person you was stepping into dealing with. This was got, a grown ass woman. Like, you a kid still. Before you had the baby that you had the first, her first. Before you had your first child, it was another girl that he was dealing with, and. You didn't like that bitch just as much as she didn't like you. What I didn't like her because love. yeah, because of him, and it was like the the, the 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 but shit that she was doing to me is why I didn't but, like her back. But why don't he the yo daddy, my daddy, our daddy? We, you know, it's, I don't know if that's some Florida shit or maybe what? your daddy, daddy your daddy, daddy like your mama. Daddy, but it's all our daddy. But why yo our dad don't like these other kids that which is our sisters and brother our sister and brother but he don't like they daddy and in turn he got a little resentment towards the kids because they came from the daddy right and i don't like the daddy because my fucking baby trick ass baby mama keep going over here fucking with they daddy but the thing is that's immature as fuck on his behalf it because is. First of all, those kids were here way before you even knew this lady. They was here years before, like a couple years before you even knew her. So that's kind of really fucked up for you to even feel any type of way towards the kids, period. You cannot like the daddy because your trick ass baby mama keep going back fucking but him. But look how he was brought up. His mama fucking and that's what And that's what I'm Don't saying. And that's why it's is. like, that's he why it's like. He ain't had no guidance. He I ain't had no love or affection. He and that's why I can't really give it a pass. I can't give it a pass, and I can't. But the thing is, and that, that's another thing, they expect for us to be the change. They expect for us to be different than them. Why the fuck can't, couldn't y'all have chosen different for us and decided to choose us over y'all damn self and y'all fucking have it? Because the thing is, y'all truly created a fucking problem when y'all started doing these drugs. Not only y'all doing drugs and putting that chemical into y'all own body, you doing drugs where even when he fucking her, you fucking her, where you think your sperm, where you think all your germs and sperm and all that shit you putting inside of your body going at, inside of her as well. So my thing is you not only putting the chemical inside of your body, you're also putting it inside of the kid's body too. That child has to fucking grow up. You understand a lot of crack babies are around here committing crimes and doing like it's so you don't understand baby. what the fuck I'm not I'm a pre crack baby because technically she did a little crack she got pregnant in the process of her doing her crack she got pregnant so she and ended up so, in fucking jail so she did crack with you in the, I said I'm a pre, pre I'm a pre crack I'm, she, she, I was she, almost she yeah, yeah. there you go crack. Uh, yeah. She was she was able to get through but, a couple months, yes, yeah, and then she got incarcerated for over a year, so she couldn't do no more crack. I mean, she could have if she, you know, but she it was kind of hard back then to get crack in prison. It was a little bit harder. I mean, I mean, I don't know what, however they got it in there, but I don't think she was doing crack. So would you with okay, me so while she was in there? Fast forward, you had a baby, you get with a new guy, you have another baby. Four years later. Four yeah. years later. Four years later, you have another baby. And now y'all are raising these kids together. Mm -hmm. And he's raising the, your first child as his own child. Mm -hmm. So he took on that responsibility. How did that look 
for you for y'all? For me, I was comfortable with it because it's like my baby got a daddy. How Honestly, you? because all I really that's all I really wanted was for my kids, my kid at the time, well kids now, but it's for them to have a mother, whether we was in the same household or not, but just have that bond, have that relationship. You know, something that we got one mama robbed us of that for having it with Gab. Not that we, I don't know if we would have enjoyed the shit or not, but being the person that he was back then, I don't know if we would have really, really fucked it with him like that. That's, but that's, 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 enough, that's coming up in the next one, but he did end up going to prison. So I feel like the, after the prison, yeah, I think he would have been better. Would, would, would he would have been better, better than the both. But the but you got to think about it. The way he came out trying to inflict that, it was like that's why she was so resistant. Like Muslim bitch, what the fuck did you talk about? So it's like I don't think that's how why we she was so resistant. No, I'm saying but, that. I'm saying what I'm saying for us, for her to mm-hmm. allow him to uh, for 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 us, how we was already raised. We was mm-hmm. around here doing like f- not y'all, but. We was not wanting to wear long fucking trench coats but and shit like still, that, but you were still young. Y'all were still, younger. I was already oh, yeah. like ten by but this you, time. You were still young. I wasn't young enough to be like. I was still young enough to you be were rebellious. Still young. You was young enough to be coachable. Yeah. You were at younger 10. at ten years old. You was young Let me, enough. I'm gonna say this because be of coachable. my because of my mindset right now. Takira is not coachable. Takira's she wasn't 14. coachable t- at t- like. At ten, you couldn't really. Here is my daughter. You could at ten, you couldn't really like. You knew right then and there, like I'm in for a rude awakening. At 10, because well, that's the difference between now ten year old you and mom. Right, and right. Daddy, that, and, and ten year old me. Right. Like my daughter Takira. Ten year old Takira and me didn't have that with a stable mindset. Who had, regardless on whether it was religion or not, he still felt like something was there that grounded him to be a better person. And have morals and respect about self. So Takira wouldn't have had that. Having said that, now this don't apply to Takira. This will only apply to you and then us, the right. rest of us. So ten year old you, which would make nine year old Nika. Nika, yeah. And then however old I was and you know what she was born. She's like yeah. She was when he got out, yeah. yeah when she got out, okay. Oh, yeah, so yeah, born. okay. So you couple months you roll one you roll her okay but i'm speaking from her perspective she was from not gonna allow point. it because she was even before on he this went, even before he went to prison she wouldn't have allowed it because she was living the life that she was living because most yeah okay so y'all don't know that our mom was first of all she was on crack right crack cocaine our dad was selling the crack cocaine. And he was on crack. He, he was, was on coke. Coke or whatever drug he chose to use at that moment of time, which I believe it was like coke. either crack or coke. So he was doing his thing or whatever, but he was still selling it. So he was still functional, right? He was a functional, In his he eyes. Was a functional yeah. addict yeah. or whatever. <laughs> I, I'm not even going to say he was an addict because addicts tend to not be able to stop their habits. So I'm going to say he was a functional drug user. Um, that's going to be my terminology I'm going to use tonight. But giving that circumstance and what it was that they was, mm-hmm. right? He went to prison. She was out. She had the kid. What, the kids got taken. CPS, right? CPS, Child Protective Services. We got taken or whatever. And then uh, fast forward, he gets out of prison. Right. Right? By the time he gets out of prison, she has us back, right? No. No, I, me and her was still gone. living where y'all was living. Me and okay. her was still gone. Yeah. So, by the time I she can was, remember, we was in the process of reunification. We, we was in the yeah. process, right? Okay. So, but as she that, still had not reunified, but I did eventually. Like a couple months when he came home, I was reunified a couple months after, and then like a a, yeah, she a couple come years come later she was reunified. Until we was living like we call it a circle house. 23, but it's 23? A, mm-hmm. Nah, no, not 23, 23, 23. We was living in the, the house that, in the, the circle. circle. Mm-hmm. We was living in that house. That's when you came back yeah. in Dillard. So he got out of prison. He come back. He's this new person. Right. right? He right. has all these new ways about him, this and the third. 
that person at that moment would have been better for us. Would have been better for us. Mm-hmm. The 10-year-old you that you were. Would have been right? re- I would have been young, receptive what? at first, but you, you know, I would have fell in line. I feel like because I was scary. I didn't like whoopers and then I knew him before he went to prison. So knew I knew him. he didn't play the fucking radio. Right. You knew him before. So I knew he went eventually I would fall in, you know, I yeah. would my my ways that I had from mama or how, how I used to be you, living yeah, you or out. how we used to live, which we wasn't no bad, bad kids, but the gay shit with Nika, I, I think she would have been in the closet. She would have always been gay. She would have held it in the closet. She would have been like, it, that. it would have been terrible for her. It wouldn't have worked out well for her. But for us, we would have gotten a better version of him if mama would have put their differences aside and thought about us and stopped thinking about, you know. The shit. The shit yeah. she was thinking about. Right. But I, I feel like that version of him would have definitely been better for, better for us. us. But you know her and Fred and Fred on the other hand it wouldn't have worked out for them so when okay so what they talking about is we got a gay brother and we got a gay sister so basically what they saying is they still would have been fucking gay but yeah. they wouldn't have been able to be openly gay yeah now, they probably would have been the ones that commit suicide you know people commit suicide behind shit like that because they're not able yeah. to you know Fred didn't come out until Later on, until, until like, but everybody already, but everybody knew 16, him. Every, 16, 16, 15, 15, Fred was 16. like sixteen by that time. Not that like, he was like sixteen, but everybody already knew that yeah. he was gay. We all, we he knew. was a little boy. Yeah. yeah, we knew, but it was like he didn't come out until he was a teenager. Nika, yeah. which is our other sister, she's she always been, been gay, and we always seen that she was fucking gay, and that was just that. And I think Mama always knew she was gay. Like she always knew it. I felt. I feel like she always knew it because she always got a special kind of attention. Eat her and Fred. If you yeah. if you think about the past, especially they Fred. always got I don't a know about Nika, special. But I Nika. About Fred. Yeah, I'm telling you, Nika got she a special kind of attention her as we, well. We, we was young but then. like they sh- they got a favor. Like Nika was able to do stuff that I wasn't allowed to do because she looked like a boy. She acted like a boy, dressed like a boy, and acted like she wanted to be a boy. So it was like times where they would go fishing, I couldn't go. Even though we all cousins, we all brothers, like we all sisters, like not sisters, but me and Nika's sisters, it was only Brandon, Mickey, you know, Titi. And they're Brandon them cousins. They're not my, they're not our cousins. So I don't know if that was like, she didn't want me to be by myself around them, but it was like, they was always around any fucking way. So I didn't understand why I could not go fishing with them. Why I could not go cutting grass with them. I couldn't do shit. I was the only one in the house, but I kind of feel like mama knew Nika was going to be gay. And she always knew for everything. <laughs> and they, uh, she always sheltered them. She always, and still to this day, she always give them passes for they wrong. This, even, well, Fred don't give mama no fucking passes, but <laughs> Nika always give mama passes. Even when she be blunt, dead face, ad, dead ass wrong, she still get a pass. Mama, Nika always get passes. Fred always get a pass. So, okay. Now, given the way that Obviously, she gonna remember stuff that we don't remember or we don't know about because I was a baby. She was a baby baby. So we don't really remember what, you know, what it is that she's gonna remember. She experienced them in a different light than what we mm-hmm. experienced them. So given the the things that you experienced, right, from your mom, from dad, would you say, and this is basically... you. I want a yes or no answer, and then I want you to give your explanation as to why mm-hmm. you feel the way that you feel. So would you say that which parent do you feel like you will have flourish, if any, because you could have not flourished. Mm-hmm. So if any, which parent do you feel like you would have flourished with the most? Yeah. You don't feel like you would have had, hell no. Well, with mama? Dante. What? No, hell no. Fuck no. No, under no sir. If, if the thing is, if Mama would have, <sighs> this goes into the reason on why fathers are important. Go ahead. If she would have, literally, she's money hungry. Period. Let's not fake the funk. She money hungry. How she you loved. Money hungry? She you don't even know what to do with the money. She loved the fucking money, and a, a, it's a, a unfortunately in our culture. I'm not speaking for everybody, but where we come from and in our culture, a lot of women do this shit. They destroy relationships with the fathers and because of child support. You ain't paying your child support, you can't see your kid. What the fuck kind of shit is that? 
What if I ain't had the money to pay it? This week, what, this month, what exactly? In, Wait, in, hold on, because I don't want to get too, too, too far off topic. Why do you feel like you would have flourished more with your dad versus with Because the Fred coming out of prison was not the Fred that went in prison. He came out of prison with a goal. Mm -hmm. He came out of prison with a different mindset. With a thinking different. Thinking like, okay, this girl done got my fucking kids took. I gotta do something. Like he literally had the right mindset, but he was he had the kids from the wrong person. Unfortunately. She was not in a mature space to say, you know what? Fuck the money. And the fact that he's telling me he's first of all, women don't like uh, older, I don't know. I don't fucking know, but I'm not that type of woman. So mm. I'm not even going to speak in a general sense. But some women, like, they don't like to see their baby daddies move on with an, mm -hmm. with another woman. It don't matter. 10 years went by, 15 years went by. Some women are just playing out fucking bitter. And the fact that he came around with a new woman and, you know, the woman had a little shape or whatever. I don't know if that's, that was the case, but she was a nice woman. She was a nice looking woman. She did our fucking hair and didn't like that. Don't put your fucking hands in my kid's head. Bitch, you didn't do it. <laughs> so what the fuck? You didn't do the hair. Like, so what the fuck? Why is it an issue? Because she did the fucking hair. It's not like, you feel me? You did our hair and she took you, it down. Because she his new bitch and I don't... I don't and like then, that. like, the lady, you know, she wanted to be around us. She wanted to bond with us. She couldn't have kids. And it was like, I don't know mom, if, if mom was jealous of that. Or if she knew that this lady was gonna give us a different kind of love, and we was you gonna be like it was more so love. Step mama, step mama, like yes, it was very, it was we very. Would have wanted to be with him more, more than, than being at be home. Like we would have, as soon as we get home, bitch, we like when the fucking weekend, when the time coming to fucking <laughs> like, go back. Like me when I used to cry, <laughs> yeah, time I had to come back home. Exactly. Ooh, she's in Fred, our brother used to beat her ass. But well, go so ahead. So it's it's, 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 like, 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 yes, it's like I feel like we would have definitely flourished more with him coming out with the mindset that he had. She fucked him up, like, mentally, because she gave him this false narrative that it was going to be something. They Rule number one, if you ain't going to be with your fucking baby mama, don't fuck her no more. Period. Don't fuck her. Don't fuck the bitch no more. Stop fucking y'all baby daddies if y'all know for a fact he's not going to, or y'all know y'all don't have, because women are vindictive too when they be wanting something. They fuck the nigga and play on his top, play with his intelligence and make him feel, you know, special and all kind of shit, because that's exactly what the fuck mama did. And, you know, it turned out to not be what it was because she wasn't finna leave her security for some shit that she felt like was temporary. I'ma fuck you, but bitch, I need some money. And that's what it was about. It was a transactional issue and it became to where he got in his feelings about the situation. And now it's no longer about the fucking kids. Now she got his mind so fucking gone on their issues. It's not about the kids no more. So now you in a situation to where y'all they battling back and forth in court. He want the child support off. She in 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 his defense, I feel like he did come out with good intentions. He tried, you know, to make shit better for us. He tried to make our sit our situation, our surroundings e easier and better for her as well. But I think the immature side of her, the immature part of her that did not grow up yet. She still ain't grow might be still ain't grow up, but I don't know. However, the immature part of her did not allow us to have a relationship with our dad. And I, I feel like not only we would have flourished more over there because he wanted the he wanted the you know uh, us to go off to college. He saw more for us after he got out of prison. But I, I don't know. I think not only the immature side of her didn't, but I think that the vindictive side mm -hmm. of her also. I gotta get you back I gotta bitch, get you, you gotta back remember they done been through only, a lot of trauma yeah, a lot of been shit so much shit he used to whoop her ass for the shit that she used to do or whatever it is that she did at that moment of time mm -hmm. and it was her sense of she finally had some type of control over something yep. that you care about and then yeah on top to, to add yeah, icing something. on the cake not his mama, his face. mama was the one that got us taken away in the first place because they used to according to him. I don't know how true this is because I don't have mama to corroborate it. So I don't know how true it is. According to him, they used to play DCF games back and forth, call the DCF on each other. Well, I can't. I, I don't can't, know. I cannot say that the mama didn't do that. Because yeah, because she mama was fucking daughter. So 
I know for a fact his mama would do. She, she, I know she, for a fact she did it. did it to her, her own daughter, and so she did I it know, to her her first and, her first grandkids. Yeah, she did it to us. So, I know this for a fact. I'm eight years old, bitch. I know how to read, and I know what the fuck I'm reading. I comprehend what, what it being, is I'm reading. Being nosy, that's the yeah. reason why you got to make sure you lock your shit up. Plundering, I, I, I was plundering and trashing them shit. I found it, a, I found the DCF papers. Not only just you, but remember we had that file cabinet inside. That file cabinet, and they were supposed to marry some shit like that. All that was and, in was and like, she never turned in the paperwork because he was abusive, beating the fuck out of her. And leave it to him for years. He told us, bitch, I ain't never sent her to the hospital because she was fucking scared. But, he you know, that's in, another conversation for him. Of whatever it is that he had going on at that moment in time. But so basically, pretty much, you feel like we would have flourished more if we was with him at that time when he hadn't got out of prison. Versus, after she her. after they decided that they was gonna try to work on their relationship, we was fucked. 